So a friend of mine found this Commodore 64 in the dumpster, and he gave it to me. But I need a new power supply, so I need to make one. You can see um, 9 volts, 1 amps, uh, AC, and 5 volts, 1.5 amps. So I have found power supply here. This one is um, AC, 5 volts and 1.5 uh, amps. And this one is 9 volts, 1 amp. So the pins on top here are AC. The bottom one is ground, and here is 5 volt DC. So I need to figure out which one of these wires goes to which pin. And use the alternator on continuity. Oh, it's ground. Okay, this one is ground. This should be 5 volts. This. Okay. And... Uh, let's check the AC. Volts should be good. Okay, let's see if this will work. Hey, hey, oh. Something is wrong. Oh, California Games. It's not responding. Okay, so I'm trying a new cassette drive here. And okay, the keyboard is working. I just <laughs> shift key was pressed. So, well, that's nice at least. I cleaned the uh, connector with some alcohol. And it seems I'm able to... Hey! Let's connect. Turn it off. This one, but it is unstable now, it doesn't turn on. Now it turns on. Hmm, right? Oh, no, it doesn't work. I think the power supply is not good enough after all. I'm not sure, but... Well, it's working. I don't know why, but... Okay, so... It's kind of working, but... No audio. So let's open it up and see if I can find... 
something wrong inside the machine, uh, specifically the fuse. Cardboard box or cardboard with aluminum cover. That's cheap. So here is the fuse. Let's check the continuity from the fuse. Well, sadly, it works, so that's not a problem. So I'm going to start the machine, let it run for a while, and then check to see if any of the chips are cold. So I can make this work as long as I hit uh, rewind first, and then start the machine. Or so I thought. Yeah. So it is unstable. Okay, so I've left the computer running for a while, and all of the chips are warm except this one. And maybe it is supposed to be cold. I don't know. I think so. Uh, but here is the SID chip, 8580. And it is warm. Very warm. But I will check the voltage. Should get 9 volts. I do. Should get 5 volts there. 4.87, okay. So there is some module. I get the same module on the video output port and the RF output, so it's got to be something in common with the two, two ports. But the SID. I have another C64, I could try to replace the SID chip. <sighs> okay, new power supply. Still won't work. But this one this one is cold. Is it supposed to be cold? This one. YM 3535. Don't think it's working. Oh it is. So I'm going to try to reseat the chips. Reseating the chips didn't help me. It is still unstable. So a guy named Daniel gave me a few tips. He wanted me to measure between pin 1 and pin 3. And when I press shift and run on the keyboard, then I should get 6 volts here. Uh, but I didn't get 6 volts. I did measure between, uh, well, plus and minus on this uh, capacitor. I should get 12 volts, or around 12 volts, and I got 11.98 uh, and so on, so that was okay. And then for some reason I started measuring the 9 volt output from the power supply here. I made a short and I blew the fuse. So I cannot continue to try to measure and repair this until I get the fuse because I don't want to risk 
risk it. So that is part one of this repair attempt. Uh, if you have any more tips and tricks, please let me know. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for part two.